This is going to be a very simple event, inshallah, but full of knowledge. My task is to begin by introducing the chair. But first, let me inform you that I will disappoint most of you because I am not going to introduce the chair the way we expect. Maybe you expect me to tell you how old he is, whether he is married or he is not married, and which country he comes from, etc. I know this information is available and maybe most of you know it more than I do. But probably for the sake of curiosity, we all know that the share is in his middle ages, you will have to guess. And that he is from Zimbabwe, so he is an African brother. But the most important thing to know is that he has made a similar match as a distinguished and prolific scholar and preacher and educator around the world. Let me take as a form of introduction to say that the best known man who came to this world is none other than Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He has been one of the most influential personalities of all time. He took the world by strong and marked his positive presence for the betterment of mankind. He can easily be declared as the most powerful and credible person this world has ever seen. He brought the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and asked everyone to believe in one God. His followers believe as they knew he would not lie. Islam spread to all corners slowly and his message reached every part of, of the world. If any person follows his teachings, then he will surely be the best person. Prophet Muhammad is the perfect example of being a perfect man. He laid the foundation of Islam and gave the best conduct. To become the person the Prophet wanted, one needs to strive and struggle hard in this world. I'm using this as an introduction because I would like us to look closely around us and also observe Sheikh Mufti whose full name is Ismail Ibn Musa Men. He is extremely handsome. I think he will not quarrel over that. With clear features, his face is likable and registered easily in one's memory. He is neither tall nor short, and he dresses modestly with preference to white. He has a beard as black as ebony and a spotless skin. His teeth are white, and so are his large eyes. So you are wondering what I'm driving at. With time and having appeared in so many prestigious organized gatherings, he has gathered an hour of spirituality around him which is unique among the blessed in Islam. To so just share a testimony, somebody told me that when they arrived at the airport, everyone curious to see this man in person. When he alighted from the plane and got into this car, Sheikh Mufti Meng, a man who has made his mark as one who has done the clearest of preaching and educating in the area of Islam all over the world. Yes, Sheikh, you are most welcome in the Gambia. It is now my pleasure without delay to give him the mic and allow him now to submit his message that we all are aware of, which is around the topic, respecting differences. Chair. The 
shared with us not to use the pulpit, but to stand under the sun in accordance with all the suffering everybody has faced. This day has been under the sun all day. Asha. 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 In the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most gracious, the most merciful, alhamdulillah, all praise is indeed due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As-salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. Blessings and salutations upon the messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in. His household, his companions, may Allah bless them and bless every one of you who have been sitting in the sun all morning, who have been sitting all afternoon, who have been sweating in this sweltering heat, in this beautiful city of sunshine, the smiling coast. Here, this beautiful place where I am forced to show you my teeth. Because it is a smiling post, mashallah, tabarakallah. May Allah bless you and grant you good news. And accept the fact that you have been sitting in this heat, wallahi. It is easy for me to go into my area of comfort, but I would like to taste a little bit of what you have tasted all day, just for one hour. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us all. Please, can you excuse me and forgive me and my team for having kept you so long here waiting? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala write it in the book of your good deeds and make us all from those who earn Jannah and Firdaus. Amen. I want to start off thereafter by saying, my brothers and sisters, when the introduction was being made of who I am, I was about to get up and tell the sheikh, the brother, enough is enough. There is no point in praising a human being. There is no point in saying things that will just make the head go a little bit larger and bigger. And perhaps make a person's heart contaminated with some form of pride. We don't need that. Praise belongs to Allah and Allah alone. Allahu Akbar. We are here in our great numbers because of the Quran, because of the Sunnah, because of Islam, because of a good message in order to be moved by the message of Allah and His Messenger. If I in my life did not speak about Allah wa ta'ala Rasul, you would not know me today. But the power is the power of the message, the, me the power of the Quran, the word of Allah. The power of the words of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in his hadith. So let us glorify Allah and let us send blessings and salutations upon Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa barik wa sallam. The topic today we have is respecting differences. And I'd like to get straight into this topic because my brothers, my sisters, when we were born, it was Allah who created us. But it is He who chose parents who would be the means of us coming onto this earth. He would be, oh, my father, my mother, they are parents Allah has chosen. I have not chosen. And we all know that they are taught something beautiful in the Quran. وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّاهُ وَبِوَالِدَيْهِ إِحْسَانًا Allah has declared and dictated that you shall worship Him alone and you shall be kind to your parents. You shall be kind to your parents. This, this is what Allah says. Why? Why? Because, because he, he created, created and he chose a means that you and I had no say in. 
for us to come onto this beautiful earth for a short space of time. Be kind to your parents. Be kind to your parents. Be kind to your parents. Look after them. Take care of them. It's not going to be easy. Do you know why? When you were little, your mother had to change your nappies and wash after you perhaps had messed yourself. Your mother had to feed you. Your father had to go out to work and provide. Your mother may have done that. If they had left you, perhaps you would not survive. I would not survive. They struggled when we were little. Are we not prepared to struggle a little bit when we are much older and they are even older? This is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, In 